Hey everybody, welcome back to another Andrews Brew 2 beer review. And I'm gonna be reviewing something that I have had, I think just about every year that they've had it out. I've always enjoyed it. And I was excited to see that I could find it here in West Virginia. Um, I remember it as Alchemy Hour. You will know it as Chill Wave. Double IPA from Great Lakes Brewing Company. This is a um, phenomenal, phenomenal double IPA. I've always enjoyed it. 80 IBU, 9% um, ABV. And I, I mean... When I first had this, it was just, it, I mean, it was, I was very early on in enjoying craft beer and really getting into it. And when I first had this, I was just like, this was amazing. So I, I'm very excited to have this. I saw this when I went to the store that I went to go get this at today. So I'm very, very excited to review this, get this in and let you know what I think of Yes, a biased, enjoyable, you know, beer. I'm only going to pour a little bit because I've got my uh, my buddy Doug here, so we're going to split this because it is nine percent. We've been having you know a few other beers on top of it. Super clear, really nice, dark orange to it. About a half a finger's worth of head on it. Um, but yeah, really, really nice appearance. Clarity on that's great. Yeah, very. Get that nose. Or do that with one nostril. Right. <clears throat> Has a nice tropical note to it, a little bit of a floral bit to it as well. Really light, really, you know, kind of herbal, really, really enjoyable. I've always enjoyed like the, the aroma on this beer. That's nice. Very nice, very clean. Let me uh, take a sip. Cheers, folks. You've already taken a sip. Cheers, man. Wet my tongue. I have a new Great Lakes favorite. Super juicy. This is a this is their winter seasonal. That's a lot better than uh, Commodore Perry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Commodore Perry is really good. It is. I, don't get me wrong. Commodore Perry it's is like a flagship beer. It's yeah. Very good. Yeah. But this. It's very good. This is. This is a lot better. This is more my you know the juicier style that yeah. I like and you like. And this is heavy on the mosaic uh, mosaic hops too. I get in trouble with that. A lot of pineapple, a little bit of mango. You know. Um, Kind of a zesty, lemony, orangey kind of feel to it at the same time. Like I said, I get a little bit of like a floral, grassy note to it as well, but not like I don't get anything like West Coasty, you know, piney bitterness. I like, I don't know, I, I, they've never clarified, they classified this beyond like a double IPA. And there's old West Coast IPAs, East Coast IPAs, and this is. I've heard the term Midwest IPA thrown around. This could certainly fall within that. Oh, I gotta stop burping. But yeah, I've heard the term Midwest IPA thrown around. This definitely could fit within that. I mean, I've I've always enjoyed this, and Chill Waves, it's always been one of those that, you know, when I do see it each year, I mean, I, I definitely wanna try it. Um, you know, the head really just sits there very minimally, but so, like, really good clarity on it. This is very good. Awesome nose. You definitely feel a little, you definitely know that this is an 8% beer. It's, it, 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 is it 9%? Yeah. Oh, 9%. That's the problem with it. <laughs> It's high ABV beer. <laughs> yeah. You definitely, you definitely feel that this is a high ABV, you know, nine percent beer, um, without a doubt. The the the, it, it, there's not a alcohol heat to it necessarily, but it's just something you can you drink it. And you know that this isn't necessarily sessionable. This is one you want to definitely sit and enjoy and relax with, but you still get those great juicy tropical floral notes to it at the same time i mean this one's always been you know for me a strong nine i mean this one this one pushes to a 10 almost as far as favorites of mine i am a little bit a little bit biased obviously this is from ohio i'm from ohio yeah sure i'm going to have a little bit of bias to this but again when you enjoy a beer and they're still putting it out this well each year 
I mean, how can you not enjoy it? So if you haven't gotten a chance to try this, certainly do. Enjoy it. Get your hands on it. Tell me what you think. I will see you at the next review. Cheers, folks. Take it easy.